Anyway, what we're doing now? So, um, we are going to be playing um, OCC Match Day 9. Uh, we have Dwarves versus High Elves. So it's a bit of a, a clash of the Titans. Tiny uh, I'm alright in thinking that you've already got 2A tied up, that this is one result, doesn't matter. You or would can be... you actually fail to lose? Uh, uh, fail to win? No, um, well, I, I, I have won the division with a game to spare. So we'll just quickly run through my team. Um, there we go, we've run through them. Um, and then we'll have a quick look at the Dwarves. Yeah. High Elves, blah, whatever. Um, and there's 12 of those. Um, uh, lots of sides there. working? Nobody's saying anything. Yeah, chat's working. Everyone's here. Hello, State Mins. Hello, Tycho God Hunter. Um, hello, Riches T. Face SC2. Hello. Good. <clears throat> so, let's do this. <coughs> Thudding Goats. Hello. Hi, Hunter Judas. Oh, it's taking a moment, isn't it? Something a bit to think about it. Uh, it is Sam. Yep, regular Tuesday evening every week. <sighs> bonus stream. Aren't you lucky? What's a pog chamo? Not familiar with know. that one. Can you enlighten me, Samuel? Don't know what a pog chamo is. Me either. Oh, he's got a bribe. Great. Well, yeah, corruption, blood bowl's rife, isn't it? He's got a bribe and a wizard. Oh, fucking hell. Evening, McNaughton. Ah, right, a pog chamo is uh, almost an emote, but Sam fucked it up. Never mind, Sam. Well known <laughs> against you. <laughs> Hello, Marzam. Hello, Jester. You're right, mate. Now, I'm going to have to keep an eye out because my opponent, because uh, you remember we originally were talking about uh, he chose 8 o'clock when I said pick a time between 7 and 10. And he's, he's at 8. And then, of course, you mm -hmm. quite rightly pointed out, should be closer to 8.30 because we've got, obviously, we start at 7 and blah. He hasn't actually confirmed, yes, 8.30 is OK. So he might rock up at 8 o'clock. So uh, we'll see. Uh, OK. Who are you playing? Well, it, this is a, this is a division decider. Um, sorry, a promotion decider. I'm playing Balls to the Waller, who's already promoted, no matter what. He's um, comfortably second. Big undead team, about 2,000 team value. Piling on white, you know, block on one mummy, strength on another. Bit of a, bit of a good team. And we're playing with Immortal Coil, who've taken a lot of fatalities recently. And I, I think it's a big ask. I can't, I don't feel optimistic with this one. So, yeah, I appreciate the support, Jester, but realistically, nah, we're going to get our asses handed to us. But we'll try. We shall try. Uh, in, yeah, the, 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 I suppose the newsworthy element of it is if I win, uh, then I get promoted into the championship. Um, but to be honest, with the team in the States it's in, being in the championship and trying to rebuild isn't really ideal. So I wouldn't be heartbroken if we don't go up. I guess my ideal scenario um, is that nobody dies. That, that's basically it. <laughs> cheers, Aratar. Um, Aratar, cheers, 100. Zunk for the win. Well, hope springs eternal. Hi, Dr. Nick. Um, <clears throat> um, we just need to let everyone know, actually, that uh, this evening uh, there's going to be a special outro. Um, you don't start considering what you're going to say before you say it, do you? So you get halfway through and then you get stuck. What, what Andy means is we've got end credits to the show. So uh, stick around and watch those. Um, I'm, I'm sure after the first couple of watches you might get a bit bored. But I, I've seen them and I, I quite liked them. So at the end of the show, we'll remind everybody, don't immediately tune out. The end credits, they're not very long, are um, quite good. Look. With yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to shut the stream down just for the end credits. Like, can we do two streams today? Just switch it on and off again. Because um, no, then all the all the views. McNaughton says, uh, "Can we pray one of my players dies so that um, he needs a new one?" Um, I need new players uh -huh. anyway, mate. We've only uh -huh. got eleven today, so um, 
you don't even need anyone to die. New players will be happening anyway. <sighs> oh, no. Hawkeye. All right, Hawkeye, you saw him. Please don't give him away. But did you think they were any good? Oh, did Hawkeye drop in on the test? Right, okay. okay. Uh, Shattered Ice is asking about why the VODs and highlights are sub only. Um, temporary state of affairs. Has that issue as to why they are, is that now gone? Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll turn them back on Shattered Ice. It was a, a temporary state of affairs. I won't bore you with the details as to why, because it's not very exciting. But, um... It's not, though. No. You could watch YouTube a couple... No, God, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> you can't? No? I could. No, no. So what he's referring to there... I'm not allowed to watch. Just, just don't. There's a link below. If you like YouTube, link below. Blah. Yeah. That's it. Done. Move on. No, no. Matter how... It, it, our talk, it's really, honestly, if I, if I told you the reason why, it would A, take five minutes, and B, you'd all go, that was a shit anecdote. So I, I'm not going to... Wasty time. <laughs> uh, Tycho Hunter said, "Yeah, he ain't to try uh, try hard dwarves who don't use them. Uh, death rollers. Um, I, I had a death roller my dwarf team for a bit. I don't think death rollers are a, a necessarily a bad thing. If you've got the bribe stadium, for example, uh, and your TV isn't mad." Um, you can get some use out of death rollers. Quite hard to deal with. Uh, TNS, yes, regular programming, absolutely. Hello, Nori, how you doing? Lil Baz, what's on? Uh, Lil Baz, I have already um, already qualified, already won the division. It's already done. It's mine. It's done. It would be a it would be a better show if you could say, no, no, this is really important, but actually this game doesn't really matter. It's, yeah. it's already promoted. So, I mean, what do, you, what do you think about Death Rollers, Andy? A lot, lot of love for Death Rollers, that dwarves are a fairly humourless lot and Death Rollers had a bit of fun with the proceedings. What do you think? Yeah. I agree with that. Oh, that's saucy. Has he got a grab on that um, dwarf blocker? Yeah. Oh, he does. Filthy fucker. See, now, normally, if you've got um, a line player like that with grab, one of the real um, bonuses of, of having that is that you can grab players and throw them backwards like you did there and then foul them. But yeah. then it doesn't have a dirty line dwarf, does he? No. Do you remember uh, Ray Triple X, one of the first OCC directors? Do you remember Ray, Irish mm -hmm. fella? I do. And Ray, Ray used to play um, Orcs. As a bit of a as a bit of a laugh, he, he, Ray wasn't try hard, and, and Ray had one of the most famous Hawker Cola players ever, uh, the legendary goblin um, Elvis, um, Elvis the Fat Goblin, who was strength four, uh, and but amongst other things had dirty player. So uh, no no uh, no hint of bloat there on the team, but um, Ray would give at least two of his black hooks grab. And so whatever happened, um, if if it was um, Ray receiving the ball, the Black Hooks would grab some poor sod, shove him backwards, and just cue him up for Elvis the Fat Goblin to go and foul. Brutal it was. It's not very nice. Whoops, where am I mm. going? <coughs> uh, Norrie says, What did you qualify for? Th this is Oracle Cola, Norrie. Um, and he's in 2A and. Because of other results, he's he's finished top of the division, no matter what the score is today. This is final match day. So, uh, division already won. Promotion to, I think, 1A assured. Um, so, this is a bit of a dead rubber. It's more about don't get the players killed. I'll happily lose the game. Don't really care about winning. I do massively, massively care about not having someone important killed. Um, what's a dwarf long beard cost? Is it seventy. Seventy, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen Dwarf Longbeards with Dirty Player. It's, I wouldn't say it's absolutely necessary, but you see him. <sighs> He's got strength four blitzer. I guess it's the same argument what with you and your dirty player goat. You know, they are notionally at the upper end of the expensive for uh, line players. But it doesn't stop you, does it? Yeah. Tycho, it's a very odd one. I don't think dwarf sidestep is his better, but um, it'll do a job. Well, given, given that the for the dwarves, in the context of the dwarves, they arguably in 80% of scenarios perform the same function you know arguably I'm not saying they're identical um, and stand firm is not a double but oh dear Florence and oh yeah he's fine he wasn't dead after all he got better I, I, I wouldn't I, would, I don't think you can take sidestep on a Long beard dwarf. Look, long beards, um, guard, mighty blow. And then if you're feeling really adventurous, maybe a bit of piling on. Stand firm's good, but nah, but the side step. Yeah, block, guard, mighty blow. Sorry. Guard, mighty blow, stand firm, grab. They're all very, very, very good skills. If you had a, a wall of blockers without those skills, they'd be fine. God, you don't see Matlow for weeks and then 50 comments all at once. Hello, Matlow, how are you doing? You're make, making up for your absence. Welcome back. <laughs> Shattered Ice says, the answer to what to take on a dwarf um, long beard double is guard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm setting myself up for... for um, lambasting here but uh, may I also guard is good yep guard is excellent I'd also throw it in the mix would you consider diving tackle as the audience just saying <laughs> Tycho says this guy's a step ahead very good Matt Lowe, you seem to have got a bee in your bonnet mate you're right buddy what's going on He's all revved up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shawnee, careful. You, you, you've accidentally fallen into a hole there, buddy. You're advocating diving tackle is... Um, that, that's not on the agenda, mate. You, you, might, you might want to rethink that, mate. I think it, so you can't, obviously. Killjoy, how are you doing? Good to see you. Hello, Sarah Malt. BZL, good evening. Lava Jackal, hello. Alright, so a block tackle diving tackle chaos goat doesn't perform in a similar way to a diving tackle long bid. Alright, alright. Yeah, they niche dwarves. We've killed one already, we had to get Florence out and no. put him back together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Evening, lol, hustler. <laughs> well, BZL, yeah, here's your thing. All right, diving tackle on a rookie beastman isn't very effective. I agree, but here's the kicker. If you want to have a diving tackle goat, you cannot guarantee when you're going to next roll a double old son. So taking a long-term view in a perpetual league... That's why you can do it. Yeah, one of the one of the best players I've ever had on a chaos team um, was a seventy six point uh, beastman, and he was block, tackle, diving tackle, stand firm, and prehensile tail. Um, and well, it was, was well, he was stroker, wasn't it? Yeah, he was stroker. and he was fantastic. 
champ championship uh, medal holding Willie Stroke, who's part of the UK BBL Grand Champions team. And in fact, you actually had two of them. You had mm. another one on 50 odd points. I did. He was very good. He was very good. Oh dear. Huh, wow. Oh, God. Surely asks, how does a diamond turtle long beard compare to a diamond turtle goat? Well, he's a lot slower for a kickoff. Um, also has no access to prime cell tail. You see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm building a, a possible scenario where just declaring that diamond tackle on goats is mad. Sake! Um, might not Why be did the only people... point of view. Crazy concept, eh? Uh. It's not fair. Yes. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about the result. I care about the team not getting smashed to pieces. Death Star strikes again then, mate. What was the um, the nature of that casualty to... Uh... Movement bust. Oh, well, it'd go nice with his armour bust. He's collecting the full set, isn't he? Uh, Tycho Hunter says, is that guy dead? Still probably no, because although he's starting to pick up um, stat busts, the fact that he's got um, two doubles and is the only remotely dangerous elf, to be honest, Tycho, he'll probably um, soldier on. It's um, It's not ideal, but in the absence of anybody else to f fulfil that role. Will you keep him, Andy? Probably. <laughs> Probably. But every time you look at him, you, you think what he used to be like. Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm just irritated by the fact that it's yet another elf that's got itself fucking killed. I like, uh, just... I, I, you, it, you play, you're playing dwarves. It's not a shock, is it? But Sam, do you know what? You've hit the nail on the head. It isn't useful as a first skill on a goat. I completely agree. It is an investment. Um, but as I say, it's not champ ladder. It's not champ ladder. So you can make investments and feed the bugger touchdowns. So glitch, welcome to the show. Um, this is a, it, we we co-host this uh, glitch. Always have done, mate. Um, yes, I'm um, a player of no particular merit. Uh, Zunk Andy's the uh, the talent here, mate. But uh, nice to meet you. If you're first time you're joining the show, you've joined at a very bizarre moment. In as much as ordinarily I care quite a lot about the result, um, I couldn't give two fucks about today's result because. Um, it's all about making sure the team preserves itself. This is the last game in a season where I've already won the division. Um, and in getting in turn two, sorry, turn one, he killed a dwarf, which he buffed. Turn two, he move busted a, a dwarf, uh, an elf. Um, breathe, so. come on, breathe. So it, it's it's blood pressure. What did we say? Come on, breathe. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Good evening, Perio Jack, you're right. Jelly L, ciao Bello, how are you doing? Oh, Devious, nice to see it. Tom Schnizzle, hello. Uh, Shadow Dice says if the results are relevant, why not be allowed to concede? Um, concessions in the perpetual leagues, and I think this is pretty true of all of them, um, is, is kind of poor form. Um, why um, the admins are against it um, is it, it's a bit of a gift to your opponent and unfair to all the other guys in the division um, is, is one of the reasons 
Um, so you could pro you probably wouldn't get a flat out you know, ejection from the league, but you'd certainly get a quiet word in the ear of, oi, knock it off. The expectation is that you suffer the pain no matter what. It's so one of the scenarios that we, we have had to try and manage in the, in the past in Coca-Cola um, is that you can get um, some folks who don't really care about what position they are in the leagues. They just want to build a, key, a team that kills players. And so... Imagine the scenario that every time, let's say, Killer Nurgle team faces a similar Killer Nurgle team or Chaos team or Orc team or whatever that could do them any harm. They just concede and continue to tumble down the divisions and play softer and softer opponents and just become this um, horrible sort of uh, apex predator that never suffers any harm. So it, it's that's kind of it. Uh, and Jelly is quite right that if, if you do concede, the um, 51 star play point rule will be uh, invoked out of the. Um, I can't remember which rule book it was in. Was it second edition that first came in? I don't know. So in, 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 o, in OCC, what usually happens is the um, the uh, uh, the player gets a, a quiet, please don't do that anymore, and apply the 51 point rule. Um, Coldy asks, what about soft concessions? Uh, that's really hard to police because, of course, most of the games aren't watched by anybody else and admining's hard enough. If folks do it, it's a bit poor put sportsmanship, but it's difficult to enforce. Um, Shard Ice, it's, I don't think this is really a soft concession. It's more the position of um, what do the elves get out of it by going toe to toe with a bunch of dwarves, just a bunch of dead elves. It's not like they've all run into the corner and just let him uh, get on with it. And he's busy trying to uh, sort the death roller out. <laughs> yeah, exactly that, Julio. <laughs> Fedro, stop being controversial. G given that this is being broadcast and we'll go on to, I think it will go on to YouTube, and folks do tend to often take an interest in Andy's results, so any any sort of uh, shenanigans will not be happening, um, more, more trouble than it's worth. I'm not sure, you know, if I was Grey Murphy, I'd have brought the Troll Slayer over there because that's a much, much more appealing target to Gangfowl than the Death Roller yep. is. Oh yeah, <laughs> so he's, I think you might, you might regret that bold move. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm all quiet because I'm annoyed that. Um, no, you're it, annoyed. T t turn Everybody one. Everybody'd be annoyed. No, no, no t turn one. I fail a dodge, double one, um, when I'm trying to get my most valuable player by a country mile away, and it then suffers a move bust. As it fails its uh, dodge. Oh well. There you go. You're coping with the disappointment. Uh, right, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to foul from there. Hello, Skuro, you alright, buddy? Um, <laughs> Skuro asks, uh, or, or rather states, uh, it sees this is going poorly. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. A another stat bust on um, probably the most uh, killer elf this team's ever had and ever will have, so it, it, oh, keep him. Apo gone. It's, it's not days. worth getting hit. Like I, 
if I was chasing down the win or something, it might be it, it it'd be different, but it's not. The it's just it's a silly game. It's just absolutely silly game. Uh, Davy has asked what I mean by Killer Elf. Uh, Andy's got a Blitzer that's um, got uh, Dauntless piling on, uh, Blodge tackle, Mighty Blow. So two two doubles in there. In fact, um, Alderan uh, the Killer Elf, I think, has got the most casualties in OCC this season, yeah, uh, sure. in, in, in all divisions, um, which is rather embarrassing for the rest of us with actually proper players but there you go Tony good afternoon nice to see you see you nice see you nice indeed uh, <laughs> showing your age there aren't you hmm. uh, Sarah Molas are you still enjoying the high elves <laughs> I'm not um, <laughs> I find them really expensive for basically doing absolutely nothing at all so, mm, enjoying, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and why is the blue light blinking? I don't know, it's a bug. <laughs> Have you been talking to Killjoy? What? <laughs> See what Killjoy's just written. <laughs> is that the YouTube? It, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, I don't know, I couldn't possibly say. <laughs> Uh, Baz asks, what's the uh, schedule tonight? Um, it, it's this uh, it's this game, mate. And then uh, immediately afterwards uh, is my OCC game, which um, if I win it, I go into the champion division, uh, the top top tier. But I don't think I'm going to. So what, what I'm anticipating in an hour's time is uh, an object lesson in how to deal with disappointment and setbacks. <clears throat> It'll be a masterclass of, uh, oh well, that's the team dead then. Um, Ardvac, yeah, that's a good question. Gav was going to do uh, the UK BBL divisions uh, on GCBC last night. Um, I, was, I was booked to join him. Unfortunately, just before the stream, he got a call to go into work. So he's had to postpone it. I think he's talking about doing it on Wednesday or Thursday this week. So whether they announce it um, separately. Oh, got it. Ooh. He won't lap over that, will he? He could. He is. Oh, disgusting. Hard lines, mate. Hmm. I think Gray Murphy's quite reasonable to do that. That the only real threat you pose to his players is is uh, Dirty Elf. Mhm. Mm yep. <laughs> Bass says nice. He enjoys watching the second half of my games. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this will be done. I suspect this will be done fairly quickly. I've got no intention of going anywhere near those elf dwarves because um, I don't want to get my team. <laughs> get, I said it at the start of the game, and he's killed one and move bust another but I don't want to get any players killed so um, I was quite fine with losing 2-0 and having absolutely no one hurt so th these dwarves are now doing a passable impression of the Harlem uh, Globe miners aren't they just all this sort of vanity passing you let the dwarves vanity pass yeah oh hello oh seriously Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Pedro asks... Da, 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 just don't say anything. Ped, Pedro asks... Oh, how are the undead doing? Uh, well, the undead were doing a, a, a cheeky bonus. Let's get some games under the belt. And um, actually all died. Um, so the remade undead brackets using the same players uh, are currently 1-0 so a small setback there mate Tony as soon as I pointed out that Tuco was the only danger elf on the entire team as far as the dwarves concerned it was written wasn't it really uh, no the Kislev team are absolutely fine they they continue um, they are 1-0 Andy yeah still are 
Yeah, I'm sorry, Helgen. You, you are still on the team, mate. You are still a mummy, but you don't have guard anymore. They, they have played a game and won, though. Um, but yeah, they, they had a they had a game. Um, I don't know if you remember that the the last game that was a draw, we lost McNaughton, uh, the uh, 25-ish point white uh, dead regen failed was dead. Um, then uh, Andy on the second white in the game Andy played uh, offline, dead, regen failed, dead. So both the whites gone. Record for one one. Restart. Yeah, they're both dead, Helgen. That that was the thing, and it was also it was the fact if if that game had been a draw or a win could arguably have continued but with a defeat and another dead skilled white and I think we also had an MNG on uh, Blodge Girl and the irony was this was against uh, a rookie Dark Elf team that had absolutely no kill skills whatsoever and I think they suffered something like five casualties um, to the undead and zip to the Dark Elves it was one of those games that I was quite glad we weren't streaming it because it would have been very difficult to find uh, any positives. It was basically horrific from start to finish. Um, yeah, I think the fans are starting to notice that uh, the elf players are getting very liberal with the fouling because they want to get sent off. <laughs> well, who can blame them? Look, look at these dwarves. Oh, Shatterdice, nice one, mate. McNaughton, that's exactly what happened, buddy. That's exactly what happened. We, we, we were missing your presence on the team and it just all fell apart. Uh, no, he doesn't have any more bribes. So, at least we're rid of the death roller. No, it makes a world of difference, I suppose. Uh, we are... Yeah, we will be, actually, won't we? Yeah, it's a shame, Mipper. But then, I mean, to be to be honest, for the role that um, Alderaan, the uh, the Blitzer Elf, fulfills, a, a move bust isn't the end of the world for him. He's He still does what he should do. I think more of a worry was when he picked up the armour bust a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, Joannian asks, uh, he's never played Necro before, how big a bench should he aim for? In what, what sort of competitions is it in, mate? Perpetual or Champ Ladder? <coughs> Unbelievable, Jeff! Oh, Wormthrax, don't even think it, mate. Don't even think it. <laughs> Get the ref. No! So, Glitch, thank you very much for the follow. I think we were talking earlier, but welcome to the program. Um, oh, Johannian's Necros in Champ Ladder. I'd, I'd probably say if you go for 12, mate, um, maybe 13 at a pinch, because certainly uh, Fouling Zombies is a very handy tool in Necro Box. Y you definitely want to be uh, doing that. So 12 or 13. You can go a bit, uh, a bit more with uh, uh, those sort of teams because obviously the zombies are relatively cheap. <laughs> uh, Killjoy, what's wrong with dwarves that they rarely win tournaments? Uh, yeah, BZL's nailed that. Um, what tends to happen, Killjoy, um, is that dwarves are quite tough to beat, but they're also quite hard to win with. The lack of pace and moving the ball around, etc. There's loads of stuff can go wrong. So you, you'll often see uh, dwarves drawing, and in a tournament format, drawing don't get your trophies. So you, you, you do see them; they just rarely triumph. Duca, hello, bud. How are you doing? Um, yeah, I know. I... <laughs> Duca says he smells elves. If hypothetically, Andy, you with me? You simply have got your head in your hands at the moment. Can you, are you hearing me? I'm thinking. Okay. If this team completely die, 
hypothetically, not saying they will, mm. and you re-roll them, what would you re-roll to? You know, Kona. Can I do this the other way around? Oh, you can. Uh, your question is on hold. We'll come. Yeah, your your question is valuable to us. All our operators are currently busy. Pop a bit of four seasons on. Um, yeah, ogres, lava jackal. No. Um, Nash suggests orcs. I like orcs. I, I, I've seen Andy play orcs. Um, <laughs> see you, Alice. No, Skaven and ogres, same bracket. Not playing them. Dark Elves is entirely possible. Um, Necro, maybe. I don't know. We'll ask him when he's uh, not thinking. I think he's toying with kind of do a one turn touchdown here. Shattered Ice, no. Hold on a minute. <laughs> I'd like Necro. I quite like Necro teams, and they're, they're pretty good in perpetual leagues. Fan Fox, I know, but it's Hope Springs Eternal, mate. I, I, I don't like this team. The, the names are stupid. They've all got stupid hats. They just prance around talking about hairspray and nail polish. It, not my thing. Can you forgive me, Fan Fox? You, you understand the motivation. It's a, it's a good reason for asking it every week. Oh, Simon, you, you, do, you, do you like the hats? It, it's a bit like a cross between um, the Coneheads and uh, the house, uh, the, the Coldstream Guards, isn't it? I'm, I'm not crazy about oh, it. Duderino, hello, buddy, how you doing? Hell. Yeah, actually, that, though, to be fair, that, that can happen with any team. Um, <laughs> to be honest, but yeah. He's curious. Aratak, um, I, don't, I don't actually have Ava's phone number, otherwise I'd ring her and suggest that, um, yeah, bring up a plate of biscuits would probably help. Yeah, exactly, Shattered Eyes, I completely agree. Oh, hello. <laughs> Was that elf doing a little skip and a dance as he as he got sent off there? He's delighted. That's Safe. All right. <laughs> Hel Helgen, uh, biscuits aren't really a part of my world, I'm afraid, mate. Um, it's probably for the best. I'm, I might have a tuna sandwich in a bit, um, if that if that helps. Well, I mean, as the counterpoint, as Saramol's played uh, High Elves successfully, I mean, Saramol, are you still a big fan of the High Elf Nation as a um, to play in perpetual leagues? I mean, I, I don't think they're uncompetitive. I, I, I just, I don't know, I just can't get into them. You know, the... Yeah. And the other thing with this team is that there's not many interesting players. Um, the only the only ones that aren't just vanilla, you know, blodge players. We've got 
got um, Thargolian the Catcher, who's got uh, Blood Sized oh, at Guard. He's pretty good. And then there's Alderan, who just seems to be dying the death of a thousand cuts. Every two weeks, picks up another stat bust. Yeah. Oh, I, th th this lot are really dull. They're, they're not very interesting to play, either as or against. But, oh well. Try watching them, mate. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, even two girls falling asleep, and he normally loves Blood Bowl. Oh, has that got a niggle? Oh, fantastic. Oh, Simo, if this isn't a downer on, uh, on High Elves in the Warhammer Greater Universe, in, I mean, I'm playing Total War Mortal Empires, I'm, I'm playing as Tyrion at the minute, and have played as Tech List, no, they're both terrific. It, it's, the, it's the Blood Bowl iteration of them. I just I mean, They haven't got War Dancers, they haven't got Witch Elves, they haven't got the interesting Elves. Well, I mean, Saramon, you know, you, you remember that that um, <coughs> in, in all the leagues we play in, High Elves have done well. You know, it's not that they, they, they're they uh, they're not effective, it's just they can be a bit, a bit boring. Um, depends on the league, Nasha. Um... I'd, I'd say hybrid teams seem to be probably the biggest subset of what sort of teams constitute leagues, but it depends which league you're talking in. And also, it, it, it does change season to season as well. Um, yeah, you're right, Mars. I mean, they're not, they're not as... You, you've used the word boring, so I'll, yeah, I know what you mean. Um, but then, you see, with dwarves, you've got the whole kind of... Um, they're all a bit mad and drunk and... You know. I like orcs, mate. Orcs are great. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, you've got a new blitzer. Oh, what's that? That's what you wanted. You okay, thank you. Well, basically, the other ones with blood step are a bit mad. I. <laughs> Look at him, he's doing cartwheels as he gets sent off. He's delighted. The high fiving each other as they get sent off. Dear me, what's this? We need a steward's inquiry here. I think there's something going on. How do you know when you're feeling in a really bad mood for no apparent reason? What does everyone do to get themselves out of it? I've been in a really bad mood since about three o'clock this afternoon. And I don't know why. Really? Well, yeah, like a, hmm. like a, a, a horrendously bad mood. What? What? Do, and so the death of the elf has just tipped me over the edge. That's why I've said nothing. Um, well, think think about the end credits. That'll cheer you. <laughs> so what? What do people do? Like, we should talk this through. I should have. There's 120 people here. It's a council. Yep, yeah, Aratark says he leaves work. Uh, there's quite a groundswell of opinion that going for a quick Tommy Tank could cheer you right up. Yes, that, that does seem... <laughs> our survey says the top answer is go for a Tommy Tank. Hmm. Yeti, bit left field, but I like your thinking. Yeti's recommending build a sand castle. <laughs> Gerion's recommending um, chemical help to, to pop a couple of Perisat. Gerion, Gerion suggests hit something cute. What, like a kitten? Would that help? It's a bit, a bit cruel, isn't it? 
did that suggest stop playing ogres? Ben, that, I don't think that would help. He's no secret in your heart of hearts. I think that would make it worse. Now, Mars, listen to music's not a good idea. You, you heard the sort of music Andy likes. That it's mostly that emo nonsense. That wouldn't help. <laughs> Killjoy recommends have a warm bath with some yellow rubber ducks. That's nice, isn't it? Destro suggests tell Ava that she can't cook and see what happens. Okay, living dangerously there. She she, she works out a lot, mate. She's quite strong, upper body strength, you know. <laughs> Hello, Anania. How you doing, mate? Tony suggests get Ava to make you some pierogi. Do you know? I'm not sure what pierogi is. Sounds sounds good, though. Uh, Spuddy suggests go make a baby cry. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Killjoy recommends uh, K-pop. It's very helpfully linked to your video there. Oh, right, Destro. So, I mean, in some sort of fight club type scenario. Oh, you got him again. Got him. <laughs> right, now he's definitely out. Right, pierogies, minced meat and bread. Oh, that's... Hey, Destro, that sounds pretty good, actually. I, I, I like ground beef and... It's a bit, bit like samosa or something a little more Mexican-ish. Uh, Braxios, yes, indeed. Bonus stream every Tuesday. <clears throat> well, Killjoy, the, the the joyous thing is not only got one, but it's got that one because that that's the um, the nastiest, most angry dwarf on the whole team. Well, neck and neck tied with the other one. <laughs> oh, it wasn't the troll slayer that one. Unfortunately, it was just a not a very nice one. Uh, King Winter is overjoyed because it's new Darkest Dungeon DLC. Um, King Winter, just going off on the total tangent, um, if you're into Darkest Dungeon, do you watch um, Call of Cthulhu on Twitch, by the way? Uh, the reason I ask is uh, is we're, we're big fans of, uh, uh, of Adam and uh, on the Call of Cthulhu channel, and uh, that's one of his games. Check him out here. Oh, you know him. Right, cool. Oh, dear. <clears throat> right. Oh, Villainch doesn't like it. Mate, you can't please everyone, Villy. You can't please everyone, so I, re I respect your point of view, but I'll, I'll continue to recommend him. I think he's tipped up. His production value is through the roof. Our attack says he's got a, f a friend of his, um, and she likes to eat ice cream and watch Aladdin. Um, yeah. But she also prefers white rhino over red. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Kenyan coffee over blue mountains. Yeah. So she's not perfect then, our attack. <laughs> Anania Cheers 10 Zunk is promoting other streams. Anania, it's a community, mate, not a competition. Uh, yes, I know, some people might tune out and go and watch Cthulhu instead, but look, he, he bigs up us in, in... Sorry, I'll start again. He bigs us up in his channel, and I'm more than happy to do the same. It, he is genuinely good. <laughs> Aratar, that's the main thing, though, isn't it? She can eat what the fuck she wants. If she's a fish, she's fit. <laughs> Uh, 
Have you got a biscuit there, Andy? You seem to be eating something. No, no biscuit for me. What's that in the background where the eye of Sauron should be? <clears throat> no idea. Definitely not a biscuit. as well. And that's the really expensive dwarf that he absolutely doesn't want killing. It's um let's have a quick look and see where Grey Murphy is in the division. Well, is there any danger I might have to play him because I don't fancy his team either. Ooh that's a nasty thought. If Grey, if Grey Murphy wins, he goes into a promotion slot. Ugh. That would put be. him into third place. Oh dear. So I'll have to draw. Okay. Well, he wouldn't necessarily go into the um, same division. But, I mean, just as a general policy, a dwarf like that, do you want that wandering around? Nah, they should all be put down. P public so... service, getting rid of that dwarf. Yep. I mean, what's, what's he got? So he's a, a troll slayer with strength four... Mighty blow, piling on juggernaut. Oh no, 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 no. Gotta go. Uh, Helgen asks us if Andy could have any food stuff in the whole world right now, um, what cookie would it be and why? <laughs> Do you know I, I think that's what that's exactly what it is, right? I need a cup of coffee and some um and some Toblerone. And then I'd be a happy Andy. You'd be all right. Yeah, um, right. Please excuse me while I go away and cheer the fuck up. Yeah, cheer up. Knock it off. Uh, Bloody Sabbath, welcome to the show. Um, I'm guessing from your, your question, this is the uh, first time you've tuned in. You're watching uh, Blood Bowl, mate, which is, um, I think, kind of uh, fantasy American football with uh, orcs and dwarves and death and stuff, based on a 30-odd-year-old tabletop game. Here we go, I'm back. Good evening and welcome to the stream. How is everyone today? Oh dear, right, what could we do here? So, I want to foul this troll slayer again. Andy. Well, mm -hmm. thanks, Mipper. Mipper sends you positive vibes, Bob. Hey! <laughs> Grip says fastest Tommy tank ever. BZL, I, d I don't know. How do you know that, mate? I d I'm pretty certain he hasn't just nipped off for a, a, a cheeky bump in the, in the bathroom. That, that wasn't it. What? No, I didn't go. Hello, that. Tom Joy. Two more turns to go. Oh, I didn't break armour. <laughs> 
Sugary Chip said, watch one of your YouTube videos last night. It was either that or watch Sage. Sage. Oh, well, thanks, Sugary Chip. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I mean, that is that is the definition of a ringing endorsement, isn't it? No, maybe not. What what's disappointment in chocolate form, by the way? What have I missed out? Disappointment in chocolate form. Yeah. I don't know. I'm big big on chocolate. Uh oh. Oh dear. It just gets boring, doesn't it? It's it's hell, isn't it? No, but it's just oh, never mind. He wasn't a really important one, though, was he? Yeah, he was got? second most important elf on the whole team. So he's moved bus one and outright killed the other. Uh, I'm really changing my re I'm changing my decision. I'm re-rolling. Ah, uh, good evening, Sudo. Andy's received a challenge in game. Has he? Well, he's currently playing, so. Uh, Hell gonna ask, is there a bounty board on OCC? Um, certainly used to be. Can't remember actually. I think uh, Peter, you uh, are you still with us? Do you know if there's a bounty board on OCC? I think it's um, division by division basis that uh, so the admins run them. No, cheers, Ped. No, apparently there isn't one. There has been. Yeah, it's your dinner arrived, Andy. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, it did. Yeah. So, we were walking around Asda on Saturday. Um, for those of you who don't live in the UK, you don't know what Asda is. Um, just think of, I don't know, a big giant supermarket. Um, and... Um, just fucking pass it. 
Um, <laughs> Destinoff, that's exactly the right line of thinking. Destinoff um, says, che uh, che cheer up, Andy, mate. And what do you fancy playing next? Um, and I went, oh, I'd really like that for my dinner. Really like that for my dinner. Uh, so she's made that because I wasn't allowed the ready meal version of it. Um, yeah, it's not what I thought it was at all. <laughs> so I've been looking forward to it all day. What, what is it? What's it I supposed to be? Well, I thought it was a tomato pasta bake type thing um, with cheese on and stuff. Uh, it wasn't ruined. You really are down in the dumps, aren't you? The, the, the channel are noticing. They want you to talk to them because you, you're looking all disengaged. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. Um... It's not helping that I'm not bothered, is it? I, I suppose I should be sympathetic and go, there, there, poor elves and all that. But actually, I, I, I never liked them. Sorry. <laughs> That's not what you need to hear right now, I'm guessing. Praxius says, send it back to the kitchen. Well, just just throw it, you know, in the, in the hallway. Just throw it at the wall. Yeah, how do you do that? I felt rude. I felt really rude. Pseudo yeah. suggests what about a nice raffle? That cheer you up. Seems Hello, like geeks. Him, I know. I know. Does it? Oh, sorry. I know. I, I don't. I'll, I'll, step, I'll step it up a bit. Da -da -da -da, everybody's happy. Everything is fine. Uh, Pitt suggests. Would you fancy a, a hybrid team next time, Andy? I I think I could get behind that. You've got a little while to cheer it over, but I I do I do think that especially what's happened now with the rest of the casualties, this team has just taken this game. I'm I'm done with this team. I haven't I haven't really yeah. enjoyed it all season. Um and I only played it for the records and then um the final straw is the dead elf, the catcher which is wrestle tackle leap. Um and he was I just just at the end of last season had one and I had him and he died. So I've just spent all season making up again and he's seven star player points, six star player points made from being wrestle tackle strip ball leap. And he's oh, died yeah. again. And I haven't got the patience to make another one. Dead um, now. So I just just fire the team. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm not. I, I, nah. Arasak cheers hundred. Should he be sympathetic, empathetic, or just bloody pathetic? Any any of those, mate. All of them would help. Uh, Destinov says uh, Andy. Maybe this will cheer you up, but no one ends enjoyed you play this team either. <sighs> he's not wrong, is he? He, he really isn't. Hey, here you go, Andy. This cheer. Weewa is here. Hello, Weewa. Hello, Weewa. It'd be nice to have you for the next five minutes or so. Hey, look, if you say Weewa eight times in a row, it sounds like there's a police car going past. Try it. Uh -huh. Go on. Right, is your opponent here? Because we can just go straight into your game. Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, no. Weewa, go on. <laughs> 